the power we have as writers is sometimes like, I feel so evil. Oh my goodness, my room is a mess from every angle, so I can't like move. <laughs> But I'm putting cleaning my room on my to-do list today because I gotta get that done. But anyway, it's Saturday, December 10th, and it's 11.54 a.m. And I had a really good writing session, and I wrote 646 words. Right now, my Scrivener project targets are set to 994 words a day because after NaNoWriMo, I was like, okay, I think this is gonna be around 70,000 words, and I wanna have this done, this draft done by December 20th so that I have a few days before the chaos of like Christmas and Christmas Eve and all that, the good chaos, of course, to be able to compile my beta reader package and this send it off to beta readers. But now I'm thinking I want to do that sooner than the 20th. Like I think I need more time to even figure out even like what beta re readers I'm going to use or anything like that. So I'm going to try to finish this as soon as possible which is why I'm trying to have really productive writing days right now. So yeah I kind of woke up early-ish for a Saturday I guess. I woke up at 10 and I've been writing. I've gotten 646 words so far but now I'm going to either make a coffee or have breakfast. I don't know what I want to do first. I'm kind of hungry so I might have breakfast first but yeah this is a good time for a break. Oh also also I forgot to share that I got a new case for my laptop because I literally have had this laptop for like two plus years and I have not once had a case or a like cover for it just because like I, I don't know I never like thought to get one so like if I like went to school or went somewhere I literally would just put this in my backpack as was and it just felt so vulnerable taking it places so I thought you know what maybe I should get a case so I got a clear case off of Amazon um, and it covers like the bottom two and then I put a screen protector on which I don't think I put it on great because there's bubbles in it I literally can't put on screen protectors to save my life um, and then I found some cute stickers that I had like around and I put them on and I think it's so cute. There are mini corgis. They're so cute. And then a cat. I have to have a cat sticker. I love cats. And then just yeah, this is what I thought was cute. And yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. Oh my gosh, you guys meet the new edition of my kitchen. If you guys have been with me since like my first few videos, you'll know that I got like a pink baby Keurig coffee machine last year, like around this time last year actually, it was in November. It was during my NaNoWriMo, like in my NaNoWriMo vlogs, and I thought it was finally time for an upgrade, and so this was my big Black Friday purchase, so I got her on sale, which is great, and it's the Nespresso Virtuo Plus Deluxe, and it's so pretty. I'm actually so excited to use this. I tested it out last night, and I made a decaf espresso pod. I was like, oh, I got it, and I was like, I want to use this, but it's too late for coffee. And my mom was like, just make a decaf. And I was like, that's actually so smart. So I used it last night and it's great. I'm still trying to get the hang of like making different sizes and stuff, but I'll totally show you how I use it when I make my coffee later. But first I'm gonna have breakfast. So I'm gonna make a smoothie. <laughs> There's so much sunlight coming in that it's like impossible to have like good lighting right now But you guys I love this book so much It's so similar to Daisy Jones and the Six Which is another book by Taylor Jenkins Reid that I read because it's like the same vibe as someone famous You know sitting down and telling their story and like they're upcoming around like the 60s era It's like literally the same thing, but obviously it's like that's like the only way those two are the same I mean, this is completely different. It's not about a band and it's not I was gonna say it's not an interview It literally is an interview. So that's another similar Similarity. But no, yeah, this is this is completely different, but has a lot of similar aspects, and it makes me wonder if all of Taylor Jenkins Reid's 
books are like that because these are the only two books of hers that I've read or if it just happens to be this one and Daisy Jones and the Six. Either way, I think it's cool that she has like a distinctive writing style and writing voice that just is like unique to her. I think it's pretty cool. But yeah, anyway, I'm 165 pages in. I'm like halfway through and yeah, I think I'm gonna end reading there because I'm gonna make my coffee. Also, you guys, I realized that coffee makes me more productive because I was literally thinking, ugh, I just wanna go play Minecraft in my room right now and I was so close to doing it. But then I remembered that I want my coffee now. Obviously, I can't have my coffee later or else I will not fall asleep probably. Um, and coffee is something that like when I have it, I literally have to be doing something productive while I'm drinking it. I don't drink coffee while I'm like playing Minecraft or like doing something like leisurely. <laughs> Like when I have a coffee in my hand, I'm like, okay, this is girl boss mode. I'm literally gonna be writing or editing or something productive. So honestly, it makes me more productive. Will I have a Minecraft session later? Yes, yes I will, but not right now, which is the point. I don't know what to call her because I'm really not well versed in coffee language like is this a latte? I think so or is it just a coffee? I don't know. I should search that up But I sprinkled some cinnamon on top and then I always add like foam on top by just like using my milk frother with milk So I think it's a latte I don't really know. Anyway, if someone has an espresso, please comment below your favorite espresso pods because mine came with those pods that you saw before, like a selection of 11 or was it 12? I don't remember. It, I think it was an even number, so I think 12 um, pods for like sampling and stuff. And that's actually really good because I don't know the difference between coffee types either. Um, I just know that I like to use full-size capsules and over espressos. But yeah, if you guys could comment your favorite pods if you're an espresso user, that would be very helpful. And tips and tricks, because this is something I'm gonna have to learn to use better. I don't know if this is accurate and it almost overflowed. <laughs> so yeah, I use it to take a picture because I wanna post on my Instagram. I haven't been on there in a while, but then I went on it recently because, you know, I've been less busy ever since NaNoWriMo ended and I didn't realize how much I missed it. Like I just, I avoid my personal Instagram because sometimes it's just not great for my mental health. I don't know what it is about Instagram exactly but it's just not great so I've, I've really been avoiding my personal Instagram and going on it and stuff I do go on it occasionally just to see friends pictures and stuff like that but yeah I wanted to go on my sincerely V Instagram which is different the feed is different because obviously there's more writing content and book content because that's who I'm following and that's like my, my explore page is just filled with like writing and book content and just it's so much better it makes me feel so much more inspired and it doesn't give me that feeling that my personal Instagram sometimes gives me where like I'm not in a great headspace after so I want to start posting more on there. I forgot how much I loved it and I haven't posted in a while. I haven't been interacting with people much and I feel so bad. So yeah, I figured I would post today. So I took what I hope are good pictures and I'm going to post them. Let's do that now. Actually, I have my coffee and oh, I also have a notion. Okay, so I'm someone who, gonna bring that closer, doesn't really stick to like planners and things like that, but Notion for some reason has always been something that I could actually rely on using like throughout the whole year and not like stop using it and stuff. Um, I wish I could say I was a bullet journal galley because bullet journals are so freaking aesthetic and ugh, I just wish I had the patience and the time and the creativity to do that, but I don't. So anyway, yeah, I like to use Notion. I made this template myself, which I'm very proud of. It took so long, but I, I can't use other people's because they're so aesthetic, but sometimes it doesn't go with everything that I use personally in my day-to-day -day life so I figured it'd be easier to make my own so yeah here's what it is I need to fill out my daily goals obviously I want to write I don't know exactly what my goal is for writing I think I just want to write as many words as I can maybe I'll just write that <laughs> write as many words as you can um and then oh yeah little spoiler here I don't know when I'm posting this I let Alexa control my writing day but I already filmed that so this is like my weekly overview which is actually very helpful and this is just like for YouTube and my personal life this is this Notion template is just for my YouTube and personal life, so. And then other pages, I have my habit tracker, reading tracker, because I'm trying to get on that Goodreads goal, so. Yeah, okay, so this is my reading tracker page. I think it's so cute. I literally spent so long trying to find, like, a good picture for it, but it shows my Goodreads challenge here, which is 50 books. <laughs> and I've re read 28 so far this month. I've read The, the Final Gambit and November 9th, and right now I'm reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. These are the books that I think I'm gonna get to next. So yeah, this is just what it looks like for now. My Notion's probably gonna change a bunch later, but for now, this is 
is what it looks like. And then I have my calendar and YouTube hub and things like that. So this is my notion. I'm going to fill out my daily goals and I'm going to put the Instagram post as one of them because I think that's something that would feel like I accomplished something today. angle i'm sorry i can't be bothered to get my tripod also i film on my phone so like i don't even know where to look sometimes because my phone's black so i can't see the camera am i looking at it now i think now i'm looking at it anyway i just wanted to say like the power we have as writers is sometimes like i feel so evil like you would think that because i'm not a fantasy writer i'm not like killing people off and stuff but i still have so much power because i'm doing all the things that i hate yet simultaneously love as a reader in romance novels where it's like the teases and the almost kiss scene and things like that and I've been putting so many of those things in my novel and I feel so evil. Yesterday though I wrote the almost kiss scene or maybe that was a few days ago. I don't remember when I wrote that and I was like I'm so evil. I love it. I love it. I love being evil. So I, I'm guessing this is how fantasy writers feel when they kill off characters or maybe you cry about it. I don't know. I'm guessing it's one of the two. But anyway yesterday I also filmed the actual kiss scene and it will never not be cringy for me to write a kiss scene or like read a kiss scene that I wrote. Like it doesn't even matter that that this is draft three and this is like the third time I'm rewriting it it still makes me like physically cringe but at the same time I'm like oh my god this is so good like yes I'm gonna be the author that's like really evil and gives like teases and like almost kiss scenes but I'm also gonna give the readers what they want and it's such a good kiss scene I have to say like 50% of the time I'm cringing the other 50 I'm like this is good anyway yeah that was all basically to say that I'm evil and I'm loving it Okay, now it's five o'clock. It's getting dark already and it, I literally hate it so much. It makes me feel like the day is over when there's so much time left in the day. But anyway, I'm gonna clean my room because it is an absolute mess. Like, it's so messy. You guys can't tell, but it's really messy. Anyway, so I'm going to blast some music, some Christmas music, and clean my room. And then I think I'm gonna go right on the treadmill. Do I have a treadmill desk? No. Did I? Do I make a makeshift one? Yes. I literally put like this flat piece of cardboard. It's like a sturdy cardboard flat piece that I put across like the handles at my treadmill and then I put another little box on top and then my laptop on top of it. It works. It works. It's impractical but it does the job. So I'm gonna do that um, and write while getting my exercise in for the day. Yeah, that's the plan. <music> morning you guys it's a beautiful sunday i woke up to snow like everywhere and it's been a while since it's snowed here and i'm just so happy because it's gorgeous anyway i'm gonna make a coffee i had like a brunch after coming back from church but now it's coffee time so let's make some coffee okay these are my only two christmas mugs i have this one and this one that's literally it oh i don't know which one to use i feel like this is more of like a hot chocolate vibe and then this one for coffee yeah 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 okay we're gonna use that one and then for what nespresso to use i'm gonna like organize this drawer because it's really messy i'm trying not to show the top half because it's just such a like cluttered drawer and i kind of want this to be like a coffee nook but anyway i got these off of amazon so like they're the starbucks nespresso vertuo capsules ignore the dried up coffee grinds there oh my gosh it's okay whatever anyway so it's like the columbia one there are so many starbucks options for nespresso pods but i do not know the differences <laughs> between flavors so i just kind of like chose the one that sounded the best for me this one's like a medium roast coffee and i don't think i would want dark roast light and medium would be the ones that i choose between but anyways i just chose medium this one's toasted walnut and herbs notes and it's columbia so yeah i'm gonna open this and use one of these capsules today probably packaging is so cute for this one i love it also i'm sorry if you guys like could not care less about the coffee content i just find it so exciting because it's new so yeah <laughs> 
Okay, before I brew, I'm gonna add, I got this syrup off of Amazon because I've seen a lot of people like on TikTok who have like Nespresso's and coffee like corners use this kind of syrup. So I got it in thin vanilla. I only got one just so I could like try it out and see for myself. This honestly seems really good. It's seven dollars for this whole thing. It's pretty big for seven bucks off of Amazon. So I think that's a pretty good price. Um, and then I got this sprout spout thing separate because it didn't come with the thing. But yeah, I'm gonna put a few pumps of this. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm holding my phone with one hand, so I'm gonna have to put it in this far away. So let's just. Oh, okay, that's fine. That 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 works. We'll do three pumps. I like sweet coffee. Okay, I'm definitely writing here in my family room today because I'm right beside, you can't see, maybe I can, the snow. And it's just so pretty. Um, I'm gonna write for two hours. I think I'm gonna do my reading writing sprints for two hours, 20 minutes of writing and then five minutes of reading in which I'm gonna read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. But yeah, I'm gonna do that for like two hours and then play Minecraft. I realize how introverted I am. I'm like, some people would wanna spend this like beautiful snowy day like hanging with friends or like going skiing or something. But I'm like, this sounds like a perfect opportunity to play Minecraft. Like it just sounds perfect. Like with the snow outside, a cozy Minecraft session with Christmas music, can't get better. Anyways, let's try this coffee. Ooh, that's really good. I like the amount of syrup I put. I feel like I didn't put too much. And oh my gosh, it's it's crazy how I can actually taste the difference between all of these coffee pods. Like you'd think coffee's just coffee, but no, they all have different tastes. I do really like the taste of this one. It's a little je ne sais quoi, um earthy, I would say. And I like that. But yeah, definitely not as much foam as yesterday, but it tastes great. It tastes amazing. Okay, I'm gonna write now. Okay, I just had a really productive writing session. It's sometime later. I wrote about 1,161 words. We're now at 62,000 in this draft. And I just wrote the first half of the fallout portion. One of the notes that I made when I was rereading draft two was that I felt like the fallout was too short and it wasn't impactful enough. So I'm gonna flesh it out in this draft. And so I'm gonna be adding a chapter in of something that I thought of. Um, and then I also have to write the chapter that I lost when I was sending this draft to my alpha reader like somewhere in the process of like preparing this doc draft two to be sent to my alpha reader I lost a chapter in the like resolution slash follow area and so I'm at the point now in my novel where I have to rewrite that and which is fine because it needs to be rewritten anyway but yeah those two scenes I'm going to be adding in in my next writing session because I'm done writing for the day and then I have three other scenes to write and then I'm done so yeah, those are two chapters that I'm adding in fresh, which is a weird feeling because I didn't add any other chapters throughout the whole draft three process. Like it was just changing scenes here and there, but I didn't add full like new chapters. So yeah, I'm done writing for the day, but I am going to be adding those two chapters the next writing session that I have. And then after that, I have three more chapters to write, including the epilogue or maybe four, I don't remember, but then I'm done. I'm done draft three after that. So I think I was pretty on par when I said like seven, this draft might be 70,000 words. I think it literally literally will be around 70,000 words. But yeah, I'm so excited. I can't believe we're so close to the end. It's December 11th, so I feel like I'm doing really good on time. And yeah, I'm just feeling really good about it right now.